This is Twit. David, I know you're on a bit of a social media break at the moment, which I think is very healthy. Mm -hmm. Uh, just in case you want my opinion on that. Uh, but I do know that before you went on your break, you were right now you're in Japan, but you were in a neighboring country checking out Oppo. Uh, they had an yes. under display camera that they were showing mm. off, um, you know, kind of doing away with the notch and showing a couple of different like things that can be done with phone, with phone looks and just how to integrate different hardware. I want to hear, what was your experience like, you know, what is it and was it what is it like being in China and seeing these phones come out that we just talk about here on the show? Like there are things we'll never see in person, but obviously they exist somewhere in, you know, on Earth. Um, so I want to hear about your experience. Yes. So I I was really excited about this uh, particular feature. What's what's kind of funny is that at Oppo, Oppo's Innovation Day, it wasn't really about this feature because they showed, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little bit sick. They showed this off is six months ago in uh, Shanghai. And, but it was in like this like black container case thing. The real highlights of Oppo Innovation Day were like some new AR glasses that are kind of like HoloLens and then uh, some new five a new 5G access point. But I think most people were gravitating towards this because they actually had it there. Um, and, I think the technology is super cool because you can't really see the camera unless you're one at a certain angle or two, like the wallpaper is a certain color. I don't know why red works better than like blue or other colors, um, but you can't really see it at all, which is pretty cool. Uh, are you are you guys still here? Just yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're okay, okay, okay. Cool. cool. Um, and so, like, yeah, it kind of blew up. Like, a lot of people got really, really interested in it. I was posting just, like, everything Oppo had uh, at the Innovation Day thing on Twitter. And the photo, this photo that you see in this article here just, like, went totally viral. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, I guess I need to look more into this. So I did a dedicated video on it, and then I wrote this kind of op-ed about it. Um, and I think this is, like, the next big innovation step, right? Because, like... For the last maybe two years, we've been trying to avoid front-facing cameras in one way or another. It's like we either have pop-up cameras, which have moving hmm. parts, and then there's an argument about that. Or you have a notch, and the notch designs are all different, but kind of equally ugly. <laughs> so it's nice that this is something that can potentially make us stop arguing about this altogether. Um, Oppo didn't say like if they're putting it in a phone anytime soon, but the mm -hmm. technology feels fairly ready in my opinion. So I hope we start to see it in phone soon. Um, they did. Oppo did hint that they're going to make a Western push within the next year, but then we've also got you know companies like Xiaomi that have said that same thing, <laughs> and it's not true. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I hope that we start to see some like that in the next year or so, but it's fairly unlikely. So when you said red, red letting it shine through, is that to say that if you have like a red wallpaper, it makes it easier to see the in-display camera? Is that, uh, is that what you meant? It's harder It's harder to see with a red oh, wallpaper. Oh, harder to but see. It's really weird. Like I, I, uh, I specifically put it on a blue wallpaper and blue is the color where it's easiest to see. And I don't really know why color affects how you can see it. Basically, it's a it's a super low resolution, very very thin uh, display layer. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the screen, the rest of the phone has like all all the layers that a phone usually has, but the little cutout for the camera has a single layer that's translucent. And so when you're taking like selfies and stuff, there's like there can be a little bit of like this kind of haze look, but they're trying to get rid of that in software, and it's honestly not that bad 